and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Mm, Brad Heidegg, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today we're going to talk about how to fix rhomboid pain. We'll show you what the rhomboids are. That's mid-back and shoulder blade pain. Three self-treatments that work. Absolutely, and Bob. I can attest to this because I've done some of these myself and it's helped my problem. Yeah, so. a lot of people when they get this pain, they're actually trying to stretch things and they, they're doing the wrong thing. So we're going to show you the right way and they right. work. Right. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, go to bobandbrad.com. Go to the giveaway section. We're always giving something away, but it's not today. You got to. St it's starting tomorrow. Tomorrow. There's a new contest. Tomorrow. Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. We're, yeah. We always wait till Sunday. Yeah. Uh, you can also find the contest. It'll be pinned to the top of the page at Facebook. Go to mm, Twitter or TikTok. Instagram or TikTok if you want a 60-second version of our program each Absolutely. day. Absolutely. So, Bob, rhomboid, as little, uh, this is one of those things. If you're a math major, you know exactly what a rhomboid is, right? <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like a rectangle that's tilted. Oblong, right? yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. But in anatomy, the muscles in the body are oftentimes named for their shape. Right. So, Sam, thank you for joining us once again in the new location, of course. Did yeah. You notice? Which uh, we really have got went a little overboard on decorating didn't yeah we? well you just wait bob yeah We're, that's gonna it's gonna we, it's gonna come together we are gonna get in with the times but don't worry about that now sam so the rhomboids on the back they actually connect to the spinous processes the spine here and they go These over bumps. the bumps yeah, yeah the, the bumps in the back yeah and then it goes over to the Shoulder blade, blade or the scapula. scapula and they don't go straight over they have that little angle down yeah and so they're responsible for movement of the scapula, which is a good part of posture. Isn't that amazing? Right. But they become painful. Now, one thing, Bob, but we were just discussing this. Pain here oftentimes is a referral or a response from a problem in the spine, which happens to be typically, usually, and always, not always, but Posture. posture, yeah. In yeah. fact, Let, let's look at this in more yeah. detail. Now, it's really important you understand this. It's going it to help you. It is really you. important. It it's, is. Turn Sam to the side one. Yeah. So okay. I'm, this is how Sam is oriented here. Now, what we see quite often, especially if you're at the computer, yep. uh, like if you're at a laptop, uh, and is what you start to do is you get into this humpback or uh, flex position here. Right. Yep. And this, over time, Stress in this oh, area. I can feel it right now, Bob. Yeah, it it's starts just, referring it's, pain mm -hmm. into the rhomboids. Now, the problem is if you do this over years and years, these almost start to become fixed. Oh, yeah. And, then and, you and, can have that yeah, fixed and, hunch back. Right. And people have trouble correcting this. Yeah. That's why we're going to, the sh first, one of the first exercises or first treatments we're going to show you is one where you can try to stretch those aggressively. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It, you exactly. really need to get at them. So we're going to look at posture. So the first, we've got three basic cells treatments. The first one is posture. We got some very simple right. exercises for it. And uh, Sam, you are uh, very uh, you done with him. Yeah, yeah, very gracious to uh, offer your help. Everyone appreciates it. But now it's time for you to go. All right. So uh, posture. Here we go. My favorite one naturally is the oh the w. W. the W's. There you go. W yeah. is for Wisconsin or when? <laughs> oh, he's got me. Yeah, whatever. Up now. Yeah, well, I got some people responding to the Wisconsin thing in the comments. You know, they probably live in Wisconsin. Sure, I but imagine they do. All you need to do is five or ten of these. But look at the chin. Don't let this happen. Go back. Yeah, you're trying to get the chin yeah. back at the same time. As a matter of fact, just go back up against the wall. Your butt up against the wall, shoulder, and do those W's. And we can do the modifying the angel. Yeah. Uh, snow angels, which, you know, they got snow predicted for tonight. I know. Yeah. Unbelievable. In October in Minnesota. Yep. yep. But anyways, uh, people, will, they'll, they'll say we're bad. Some of you probably will not be able to get your head back to the wall. Don't worry about Don't it. Don't worry about it. Just keep working on it. And hopefully with time, you'll be able to get back there. There you go. So the W is excellent one to do. You can actually do those on the floor, which brings us to our next exercise. Uh, and this... Actually, we're going to get into the muscle. If you've got so much pain in those rhomboid muscles that they've knotted up, 
sometimes you need to get at loosen those up with some physical uh, treatment. And we're going to use start with a six inch ruler. A lot of people have these. Um, this is a, I would get the one a little bit softer for most people. And this is three foot long, a 36 incher. You could do this with the shorter one, but uh, the next one you need the long one for. So uh, this is the way I do it. And I think, Bob, you use it in this manner yes, too, I don't do. you? Every morning. Oh, and oftentimes you're going to feel your spine cavitate, or in other words, crap. Oop, there mine went. I wonder if they heard that. It felt good. But anyways, I've already woke up in the middle of the night with back pain because of something I was doing, some chore, and I actually did this at 2 to 3 in the morning, and it made my back feel better. I get back to sleep. You're working at night? No, I was doing oh. something silly during the day. You know, All right, I, gotcha. I know, that happens. That's the way I live. <laughs> Anyway, so you roll back and forth like this. Now the next one, and you can do that, you know, for 30 seconds or so. You can go longer if you'd like. Now this is one I like, and this is easy. You just This is a passive one. What's yeah. nice about it, you just kind of get into position and stay there. And again, you can do your W's or angels. Sure. Yep, or just yep. lay out and relax. This is what I like to do. After I work out, sometimes I'll just lay like this and, you know, take a couple minutes to relax. I don't fall asleep, though. Again, some of you may not even be able to get your head back onto that. Uh, That's a good point, Bob. That's a really uh, good they point. They actually sell a little cushion that goes around on the... Uh, right. Yeah, we don't... Uh, the new... Uh, I know where it is. Oh, but, yeah. well, uh, don't worry uh, about yeah. it, Bob. Uh, the next thing is to get to those muscles is uh, a tennis ball. Right. Simple thing. Uh, you want it, me to do on the wall first, or do you want me... Well, go ahead. Yeah, show them on so, the wall. Uh, it's actually... we got a sack with a I tennis got, ball inside of it. i got a tennis it. ball inside. Uh, well, again, Brad, maybe if you stand up just oh, for a second. Oh, sure. You bet. So we're trying to stretch this area out here. This is the problem area, the one that tends to get arched too much or humped too much. And so these are very tough ligaments. So what we do is we try to hit like this spot, this spot, this spot, this spot, this spot, this spot. This whole area here, at least six spots. And you can roll on it too. Yep. You know, uh, in those areas. So what I do it, with the sock, it makes it easier to get it into the right spot. Mm -hmm. So now I, you know, especially for you initially starting off with this, because this can be very aggressive. Right. You're gonna start off just by leaning against the wall, and then you can control how much stress you're putting on the area. So it's help correcting posture, and it's getting into that muscle fibers to loosen it up, like a, a deep massage. And you can do angels and W's with this in there place too. And then I can move it over, hit another one of those yep. spots, one of those six spots. It all fits together, doesn't it, It all Bob? fits together. Um, again, a really good aggressive stretch. But once you, this becomes pretty easy, yep. it doesn't have a problem, then you can go to the floor. Yep. So do you want to keep it in the sock, Brad? Or? Well, let, let's bring it out just so they can it's see. It's actually, I, I, I got not a tennis ball. I think I got a lacrosse ball. <laughs> oh, look at that. Nice orange one. And a lacrosse ball is a little firmer. Yes, it is. A uh, tennis ball would probably be something to start with. Uh, we're going to show the back pad in a second. Uh, I don't have a pillow for you, Brad. Oh, don't worry about it, Bob. I, I just, just located my... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, we we've had people... Um, a lot of times we've had them start with a pillow um, oh. over the t tennis ball if it's yeah. too much for them. Um, oh, well, yeah, there's a pillow over or there. Or you I can use a towel to fold it up. Sure. And it just, because if I put all my weight on this, it's a little uncomfortable. Uh, but as you were get into it, uh, again, a tennis ball is a little less yeah, aggressive. Yeah, a little bit less aggressive. A little more tolerable. And but cheaper sometimes, too. Sometimes people put a pillow under their head, and also sometimes they'll put a pillow right over the. Oh, the, should we? The, yeah, so like that, and yeah. yeah, that really blunts it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there we go. See now I can now I can work it, and yeah. it's much much less. I, I've been doing this for a while, so I almost, I would probably go without the pillow. I just had another back crack. But Good. it's interesting, Brad. You when you first started, it, the like the back pod was too much for you, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so there is something called a back pod that is specifically designed for this part of the back. Um, I use one of these at least three times a week. Bob, you, you I use, use it every day. Every day, Bob does. Uh, and this is fits in there nicely. Uh, they're a little expensive. They I wouldn't pricey. buy one unless you really want to. Yeah, I would probably try a tennis ball yeah. first. Yeah. And if you find that tennis ball uh, works, then you might want to put the... The money into want to get any one of these. Right. I, I bought mine specifically for costochondritis, which you get chest pain from. When I use this, 
and <laughs> treats it very well. And I, it's nice not to have chest pain. So that's why I use this, as well as posture and the rhomboids. Made by a good guy from uh, Australia or New Zealand. New Zealand, New Zealand, I, New Zealand yeah. yeah. Yeah, Steve. <laughs> yep, Steve. Yep, yep nice yeah. guy. Physical He's a physical therapist. Physical therapist. And he explains it all in a nice video he yeah. has out there. Uh, and uh, let's see. Was there another thing we were... I think that was it, I Fred. I think but that's it, all we're going to do. That, but that really, to me... It made the biggest difference to me was the the low stretches. The ones with yeah. the, the the tennis ball. Because I was doing all the other stuff before, yeah. and I was still getting pain. But the the tennis ball and the back pod really yeah. really yeah. made a difference. Yeah. So loosen those rhomboids up. Feel. I mean, I can't tell you how much better I feel now. I can breathe better. I'm feeling good. Bob. Well, if I only look better than. Uh, <laughs> Well, that's another yeah, story, yeah, yeah, Bob. But we, once again, we can fix anything except for a broken heart. And this is getting close to it. If you look at it from the side view, we're only about four inches away there if you we go, go right to the chest cavity. So we're getting there. We're getting there. Thanks for watching.